the talk about this last time I was here. Under Rule 7, um, it said the farm's approvals will be selected by DEM staff and shall meet the following criteria. And you know, of course, they're being consistent with local comprehensive plans and state guidelines. So uh, you had said that the Office of Regulatory Reform or Commerce for Island was concerned about consistency statement. So I just wanted to say that uh, the, the Land Use 2025 uh, plan also has these consistency statements along with the roadmap for Rhode Island. They're all, <clears throat> they're all tied in with the same consistency statements, the same language. And I just wanted to read you a little piece of what uh, the land use contains in it. Uh, and I can't make this stuff up. You can look it up yourself. It's in there. It says, uh, sprawl fragment areas detracting from well-functioning centers and neighborhoods Sprawl also requires <clears throat> excuse me, that households have transportation access to community facilities. Sprawl isolates those who are not mobile, have linked sprawl with health problems. We should avoid sprawl and advocate clustering development. <coughs> excuse me, conservancy areas include lands that are most suitable for conservation uses and lands outside the urban service boundary that are not needed to accommodate the state's growth needs. It is recommended that growth and development not be encouraged or supported. This is all throughout these documents. The purpose is to take property. I'd rather that you just read it and find out for yourself what it actually says. It's very concerning. I just wanted to point that out. Sounds like Agenda 21 to me. Like, for local. 